Artificial intelligence will take all our jobs sooner or later. And that's great. Firstly, why do I believe the replacement will happen? You likely already know about ChatGPT, which can write essays, and Midjourney, which draws excellent pictures in seconds. These products have only recently appeared and have already made a splash. Writers and artists are protesting, programmers are worrying about the future, because AI can already do a better job than junior developers. The advancement of AI is changing the job market right now. The progress in robotics isn't quite as shocking, but it's also impressive. Yet, some people still think that the problem is not critical, and they show historical examples. Look, we have already had waves of automation, and nothing terrible happened. For instance, with the advent of self-service checkouts, you need fewer cashiers, but now you need people to design, build, program, distribute and support the machines. Plus, money saved on cashiers can be spent on expansion, which requires employment, etc. Yes, many people have lost their jobs, but at the same time, many new opportunities have emerged. So this time will be the same. Some jobs will become irrelevant, new ones will appear. The market will solve all the problems as it always did. And sure, that has been the case for a very long time. However, this pattern will change, because we are on the verge of a fundamental transformation. Today, all kinds of automation that exist are narrowly specialized tools. Midjourney can only generate an image for an advertising poster, and even then with human input. It cannot negotiate an idea for an advertising campaign, it cannot decide on where to place that poster and for how much money. Midjourney is just a tool. And as long as we are talking about highly specialized tools or artificial narrow intelligence, the need for people is going nowhere. A particular profession may disappear, sure, but it's happened before, that's okay. However, artificial narrow intelligence is only a stage in the development of AI. The next stage is artificial general intelligence, or AGI. AGI refers to a computer that is as smart as human across the board. A machine that can perform any intellectual task that a human being can. It can think abstractly, comprehend complex ideas, and learn from experience. AGI will not only be able to draw pictures for adverts, but also understand why a picture should be the way it is. It will be able to assess where and to whom it is better to show this advert. Moreover, AGI will be able not only to advertise a product, but also to create the entire product itself. For example, a new TV series. My balls are way better than yours. Yeah, right? There's no way your balls are better than mine. Oh, yeah, well, my balls are way bigger than yours. That doesn't matter. My balls are way more firm than yours. That doesn't matter either. My balls are way more hairy than yours. In the whole chain from coming up with the idea for the series to its promotion, people will not be necessary at all. Sure, artificial general intelligence is not here yet. We'll have to spend a lot of effort to get there. But AGI will happen sooner or later if we agree with the three assumptions suggested by philosopher Sam Harris. First assumption, intelligence is the product of information processing. It's what we do. We get information from the environment through our senses, we store it, we process it, and then maybe generate something. The difference with computers is just in the quality of the processing. The intricacy of input and output is much higher in humans. Second assumption. We will continue to improve our machines. Well, we can destroy ourselves in a nuclear war or die from natural catastrophes, but leaving that aside, companies and countries have a huge incentive to keep the development, because no one wants to be the last in this race to create the most important technology in human history. Third assumption. We are not near the summit of possible intelligence. The laws of physics in no way prevent the creation of intelligence at our level or higher. In some aspects, artificial intelligence is already way better than ours. Our brain is incapable of storing as much data as computers and making calculations as fast as they do. The bottom line is that the prospect of AGI's existence seems plausible. Some even think that ChatGPT4 is an early AGI. It's not narrow intelligence, for sure. It can perform many different intellectual tasks, from writing poems to analyzing data. It has many AGI characteristics. It can learn and understand abstract concepts, solve problems, reason and even use other tools. 
Yet, ChatGPT has many limitations. It cannot learn new skills on its own, it makes mistakes in trivial tasks, it hallucinates from time to time, also it doesn't have any connection to the non-digital world. Even if GPT-4 could come up with a new recipe for the world's most delicious biscuits, it cannot cook them itself. And that's the most significant limitation of AI in general. In the non-digital world, AI is still fairly helpless. Jobs that cannot be digitalized are safe for now. There aren't even robots that can do something as simple as cleaning yet. Yes, there is a robot Hoover, dishwasher and washing machine, but that's only a tiny help. We are further away from automating cleaners than from automating programmers or writers, who would have thought? With all that said, AGI, which can interact with the digital and non-digital world, is almost inevitable for the reasons I mentioned previously. It's just the question of when. It may take five years or five decades. No one really knows. Once artificial general intelligence is in place, humans won't be needed to keep civilization going. At all. Not a single human being. Because AGI will be able to do everything people do, only better. A computer doesn't need to learn for decades to understand organic chemistry, it doesn't need to agonize for months to write a paper. What takes us literally years a computer will do in seconds. For those romantics who think art is the prerogative of humans, no. AI has already literally won a fine art competition among humans. Cinema and music are next in line. The prospect of losing your job and having no value to society can be frightening. And actually it should be frightening. Humanity shouldn't take such issues lightly. But I'm convinced that automation is the best thing that can happen to us if we do it right. Why I think so? Because most people are not afraid of losing their job. They are afraid of living without food, home and entertainment. Imagine being paid a lot of money unconditionally. You wouldn't have to do anything at all to get it. The vast majority would stop going to work. Because most jobs are shit. People do something routine, listen to unfair criticism from their bosses, they don't see the point of what they do, they're just little cogs in the system. I don't believe a single person in the world is excited about frying fries or scrubbing toilets at McDonald's. It's unlikely that taxi drivers love cleaning the interior from the vomit of drunken teenagers. Even if we look at highly skilled professions, the work is likely less nasty, sure, but fundamentally the same. White collars often create something that doesn't belong to them, their pay is almost independent of their contribution, for some reason they have to work at a particular time not whenever they feel like it. Yeah, it can be somewhat good and interesting overall, but most would quit instantly if it weren't for the money. Because life can be better than just good enough or tolerable. If you love your work and are afraid AI will take away your most valuable asset, I have an answer for you too. But first, let's understand where people will get the money from if they do not work. That's where it gets a bit shaky. Imagine a film crew for the Avengers. Hundreds of people work there. Actors, producers, operators, directors. The studio needs to pay millions to these professionals over months. In the future, however, AI can train on thousands of TV series and films with data on viewers' preferences. Such a computer will be able to generate blockbusters almost at no cost. It will spend a couple of cents on electricity and the internet, but that's it. People who work in the film industry will become redundant. But that doesn't mean they will starve to death. We will continue to pay for the cinema as before, bringing in millions in revenue, but all those millions, previously paid out in salaries, can just as well be paid out as universal basic income. You can imagine the same thing at the level of the entire economy. Machines would be able to generate billions, and since the machines do not need all these billions, they will be distributed to people. Well, unfortunately, the world is a little bit more complicated than that. Millions of things can go wrong. For example, power control. Wealth is always hoarded by a minority, and few are willing to share it. So we need to build a robust system of checks and balances and ensure that the power of AGI is used for the benefit of all people, not just the narrow circle which owns the technology. And of course, we must build the principles of fair distribution into AI itself long before it even approaches our abilities. 
Another thing that makes me more anxious is the transitional period. So far my reasoning has been black and white, either we all work or nobody works except robots. But in reality the process of automation will be gradual. Imagine you are 40 years old, you're an illustrator, and you've dedicated your whole life to it. Suddenly there are neural networks that can generate images better than you, many times faster and cheaper. And it's not the same as it used to be, it's not just software that lets you draw quicker and more beautifully. It's a program that does all your work instead of you. There is no longer a demand for your services. But you cannot count on universal basic income yet, because the rest of the work has not gone anywhere, and the number of illustrators is too small for the government to care. As a result, you have no choice but to work in a low-paid speciality like food delivery, because you cannot offer anything else to the market. Does that suck for an illustrator? Absolutely. But there is no positive social transformation without sacrifice. To what extent these sacrifices are justified is a question that everyone can answer for themselves. I don't want to make generalizations there and say that we can or cannot sacrifice the comfort of some minority for the sake of the greater good. The last issue I want to address in this video. What about people who love their job? What if I am my own boss, I do what I want, how I want, when I want? And what if AI will take away what's most valuable? It won't. It will give you even more of what you love. AI won't stop you from doing what you are doing. And even if it's worse than what a machine does, the demand isn't going anywhere. Organic, local, handmade products are becoming more and more popular now. People will always need contact with the human, with the non-ideal. A hand-knitted jumper will not keep you warmer than a machine-made jumper. They may even be barely visually different. But people are willing to pay five times more just because the jumper was made by human hands. Computers have played chess better than us since the 90s, but we don't care about computer versus computer matches. We keep watching people play, and we play with people, although there are bots that can play at the optimal level for us. And that will only continue because we are the same species. We care about competing with other homo sapiens, not computers. We care about relationships with other humans, not robots. In the new world, there will only be more of what is essential. We will not be burdened by the need to earn money to live. We will be able just to live. Robots will make food, clothes, houses and gadgets. And robots will heal us, teach us and cut our hair.